The idea about germination for us is to reinvigorate, re-give a new life to all these talented artists that were kind of forgotten since 2008. And so we made it a point that for the last one year, we did our homework, went back to the drawing board, and decided these are the artists we are going to bring back. Hello, this is Richard Moraes, the editor of Barron's Penta. Contemporary Indian art is massively undervalued in comparison to contemporary Chinese art. But of course, the talent is equally in India as it is in China. Right now, things look like they're starting to change. And one reason is that Christie's is doing some very unusual moves with their auction coming up in the fall during Asia Week. We went to visit Dipanjana Klein, who's the international head of contemporary and modernist art for Southeast Asia, and had her explain to us precisely what is going on. The work is by Shilpa Gupta. And what's interesting about the work is it's an installation. And most of the time at auction you'll see, oh, how do you sell an installation piece? That's the idea. Bring these works back. Give that genre the recognition, the platform it deserves. And the work is about nameless writers, writers who uh, were afraid to be rejected because they were women. Uh, writers who had been refused before or rejected before went under different names. So it's the idea, the play of gender, the play of rejection in the creative world. Bharti Kher is British by birth and in the 90s she moved to India. This work is from 2006. It's a work that represents the supernova moment when she moved from England to India and she saw all these Indian ladies wearing bindis and she took that and made it into this big commentary on the idea of using a bindi which actually is worn by married women again it's the layers the subtext of what a bindi signifies in India so you have two panels with circular bindis and one panel with bindis in the form of sperms so you can see it's whole commentary on what is going on with gender and gender clash in that region. Anila Kayyum Aga is an artist from Pakistan. The idea of a Muslim girl or a Muslim woman not being allowed into that creative space of the mosque was something that was very disturbing to her. Having seen the Alhambra, she said, you know, this is what all the Muslim women are being deprived of. And so she took design elements from the Alhambra, made these major large installations where the notion of these major design elements actually projecting shadows. So whether you're allowed into the space or not, that shadow infiltrates you and your entire body. And that's the idea she wants to propagate and share. It's about sharing those creative moments, the creative vignettes that women have been deprived of.